Big question. Probably the biggest one of episode nine, even before you saw it, regardless what you thought of the film. Personally, I liked it. I thought it was a good tie to the end of the last three films. As a saga finisher, well, we had one to six for that. So I look at this as its kind of own thing, and this is the children of uh, Skywalkers and Palpatine. So that being said, let's move forwards, and uh, let's address this big, big, big topic. <laughs> Uh, that is, does episode nine undermine Anakin's arc? It's going to be a loaded video. So sit, strap in, sit, strap in. Yes and no. Some people will say that it does because Anakin's prophecy of being the chosen one was to bring balance to the force. Now, while still being on the fence about this whole thing, I really think that Anakin at the end of this all, you know, whether I say like, oh yeah, it doesn't undermine it or it does. It really depends on how you look at it. Anakin should have been the one to come back, not just as a voice, in the flesh, and defeated Palpatine, either by, you know, transferring his energy through Rey or whatever, but he should have showed up. That is how you should have done it. And then there would be no question as to whether this undermines his arc or doesn't. But seeing as how we got what we got, we're going to have to go with that, and we're going to have to try and justify it and, and think of different ideas and theories here. And balance to the Jedi meant that there's no more Sith around. Balance in the true essence of meaning the term balance means that or is there's a balance. There's an equal amount. You got two Jedi, you got two Sith, you got 50 Jedi, you got 50 Sith. That's how it works. And in the end, when he wiped out the Jedi and the Sith were no more, there were two Sith. It was Vader and Palpatine. It was just Obi-Wan and Yoda. And then Luke came along. And then he rose to become a Jedi himself. George Lucas always said that Luke Skywalker was merely the catalyst to bring Anakin outside of Vader and redeem the Chosen One. So Return of the Jedi was really about Anakin returning. It wasn't about Luke returning. That's what the whole Return of the Jedi part was. It was about Anakin. It's always been about Anakin. He's always been the Chosen One. He will always be the Chosen One. I don't care if Disney one day changes it and makes Anakin not the Chosen One. He will always be the Chosen One to me and to like true old G, OG fans. However, is Rey the chosen one in this movie. <laughs> no, absolutely not. At least that's not how I saw it. Here is how I see it. At the end of the movie, major spoilers, by the way, at the end of the movie, Rey dies, pretty much. Palpatine sucks the life essence out of Kylo and Rey. Kylo is the first one to rise because he's stronger in this film. Finally, my boy is shown his true powers. And because he's the first one to rise, if Rey was the first one to rise, if she was stronger, then... Palpatine would have sent her into the depths of the hole of the pit uh, uh, behind, right? But Kylo was the first one to rise. He was sent into the pit. So he's he's bye bye no more. Rey did not even have the power to get up like Kylo did. It was not until she requested for the Jedi to speak through her and to give her energy, to give her life essence, that she was able to stand up against Palpatine. We heard the voices of Anakin Skywalker, Mace Windu, Qui-Gon Jinn, Yoda, Obi-Wan, Adi Gallia, Ayla Secura, Ahsoka Tano, Ezra Bridger. Who else did we hear? I'm forgetting someone. But we, we probably hear, I'm just going to pop it up on the screen if I, if I forgot someone. We heard a lot of the voices. And we heard Anakin's voice, Hayden's voice, several times. And Anakin says, Ray, bring balance to the Force as I once did. He fulfilled his prophecy. That is Lucasfilm, Disney's way of now saying that Anakin completed his task. He fulfilled the prophecy, and that was it. Now, I have an issue with this, and I don't have an issue with this. So hear me out. I love this kind of debate. Anakin, I can look at it from, from two different sides. Anakin brought balance to the Force for a certain extended period of time. He's not meant to bring balance to the Force for, you know, 10 million years. But at the same time, he was supposed to defeat the Sith. He didn't truly defeat the Sith. He didn't defeat Palpatine. However, Palpatine does say in the film that he has died before. So how is he back? It's not explained. It will be explained in some other source material, a book, comic, another movie, another show, some sort of way. We don't know how. But we just know that he says he has died before. Okay. He also says the, <laughs> and I love this, uh, the 
the dark side is a pathway to many abilities, some considered to be unnatural. <laughs> he doesn't say that fully, but he says that the dark side is a pathway to many abilities. Um, and it's true. I guess he has found some certain way, and he was talking about this in episode three, and that's why it ties it in together so well for me. And that's how I can accept Palpatine coming back is because he knew how to do this, either through Plagueis or through whatever, you know, Sith alchemy, Sith magic. And that's one of the what one of the rebels in the, in the movie says, you know, cloning, Sith magic, somehow. So cloning is thrown in there, but we don't really know how. It's not explained. I guess they're waiting to reveal that in some other, maybe in The Mandalorian, which I wouldn't be surprised if they did. So does it undermine Anakin's arc? It does and it doesn't. It does in the fact that Palpatine's supposed to be dead, but Palpatine did die, and he did go away for 30 years. He went into hiding. If he didn't, Luke would have died, the rebels would have died, the galaxy would have not been restored to peace. It would have been restored to what it was, which was under the Empire's rule. And it also doesn't fulfill his prophecy because Anakin was the one who was supposed to completely get rid of Palpatine. Rey does it by obliterating him. So, if he's dead again, does that mean he can come back again? I'm just slightly confused. Pretty sure everyone, including myself, will roll their eyes if we get a movie, then Palpatine's back. I don't think he was a clone in Return of the Jedi. Because he was really beat up and dead and disfigured in this one. I mean, he didn't have fingers. Some of his fingers were missing. He has died before, and then he was maybe revived or brought back in some sort of way. Either way, that's a different video for a different time, how Palpatine survived. And the truth of the matter is, those kind of videos with those titles will always be theories because they there's no canon answer yet. It's all just conjecture. We're just thinking about, about it. Including myself, of course, right? So um, there will be a video that I will make regarding that, and there's some really good canon information as to how regarding Snoke and Kylo from comics which i'll go into in detail as well so as for anakin's arc i'm in a limbo i don't i don't think it does undermine it because he did what he had to do palpatine went away and he did his job he did his duty you know and for it to undermine his arc would completely destroy episode six for me now going back and watching episode six I don't know how I feel. I, every time I'd look at Palpatine, I'd be like, well, he's just come, going to come back, right? But I don't really think of it like that because he was dead, as he says. He has died before. So there is some story here that, again, isn't fully revealed in this film. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Could be years. Could be months. It could be next week when we see Mando episode uh, 8. Or is it? Yeah, episode 8 in the season finale, or we'll maybe get to know about it later, even further than that, years, like decades from now. Who knows? When they make another Skywalker trilogy, episode 10, I don't know, who knows? Maybe we'll come back in 20 years. Uh, it's really up to them at this point. So that's what I think about Skywalker's arc being undermined or not. I really don't think it is. I think he needed to do what he needed to do, and he did a gal he made a gallant effort, he made a triumphant effort, and something that was very selfless, and he protected his son uh, at the cost of his own life. And in return, it brought the safety of the galaxy. It brought Luke to be able to save Leia and Han, uh, who went on to make Kylo. And with Kylo and Rey, if Kylo was never in the picture, um, things wouldn't have turned out the same way that they did in the film. He was a major catalyst with Rey. And I think especially at the end there. He gave her hope and showed her that, you know, she should continue on her path and that she shouldn't be swayed from being a Palpatine, that she should just be who she is. I'm cool with it. I'm fine with it. I think uh, Anakin's arc is still fine. You know... <laughs> 
it's still fine. It's okay. No, I, I think it's all right. I really don't think it's undermined. I really don't have a problem with this. I think this, I really see the sequel trilogy as like a cutoff from six and I see it as its own thing. Palpatine came back numerous times in Legends and this really just seemed like a fan fiction episode nine to me. It's really what it seemed to me. And from the position that we were in from episode eight, best scenario I could have asked for. I would have done some things differently with, with the fight at the end with Palpatine. I would have, you know, made it a little bit more elaborate. And I definitely wouldn't have killed him off with with um, him having his lightning reflected back onto him. I thought that's, like, he's, we've, that's happened to you before, man. Like, <laughs> dementia or something? I know you're old. He's like 120 years old in this. But um, should have learned by now. Anyways, uh, all in all, I was happy with it. It's fine. It's a good ribbon on the end of the sequel trilogy. And... Um, it is what it is, so I'm excited for the Mando next week. Hope you guys enjoyed the movie. Hope you enjoyed this uh, debate and this talk and my views on it. Whatever you think, I appreciate you. I love you all. Respect you. And uh, see you in the next one. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you always.